Good morning. All right. I'm out here at Los Alamos Sports Park getting my walk in. I'm going to do three miles out here. Now, if you know, you know, you know, getting on that treadmill, it can be very boring after a while. So I decided I wanted to do something outside and uh, something different, you know. But I'm going to get back in there to do the weights a little later. But uh, I want to do three miles out here and just update you on my week, how my week went. And so each mile I'll stop, let you know from fitness to food to how I feel. So each mile is going to be one of those. All right, so let's get to it. down so let's talk about the diet all right so my diet for this week was low carb and I pretty much stuck to that up until Friday Friday I kind of went balls to the wall you know just just ate whatever you know uh, I did get a good workout though don't trip you know but I did eat some stuff and then Saturday if you look at my last video I went and got tattooed so before I went and got tattooed though, I went, worked out real hard, got a good sweat in, uh, yeah. And then after the tattoo, or before the tattoo, I ate some Jack and the Crack after that, had a little bit of everything. And so here we are on Sunday, I'm back on track. We are gonna get the eating back right, like I did Monday through Thursday. But Monday through Thursday, I did really good <coughs> on the diet. And so, you know, low carb. Uh, and on the third mile, you'll, I'll let you know if it paid off. But uh, first mile down, let's go for mile two. All right, there goes mile two. As you can see, it's bringing that authentic sweat. It is, it was sprinkling out here a little bit earlier, but this straight authentic. But anyway, all right, so my fitness for the week, outstanding in my, in my opinion, it was outstanding. Um, <laughs> I went to the gym most days, two days a week, or two times a day. And if I didn't, it was, I got both workouts in in that one session. So the reason why I did, I had to split it up, is because if you know about hitting the gyms out here anyway, in the afternoon, you really can't get those machines and the weight lift in and all that. It's hard because there's so many people in there. So I decided to split it up and go in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, gym is empty, I can get all my weight lifting in, and then do my cardio in the afternoon which the uh treadmills elliptical whatever you want is always open all day long so <clears throat> got that done um it was really good really good workouts uh got a lot of sweat in uh as i said in the last video i'm using this new pre-workout called mother mother bucker by bucked up and I put that on, like, it, it got me sweating, it got me full of energy, it got me wanting to lift the whole gym out. So, um, I'm only taking it two days, and that's how I feel after the second time. So, we good. But anyway, all right, so we're going to finish this last mile up, wrap up the week, and then I'm going to hit the gym. So, all right. All right. So I just finished. Uh, I ended up doing 3.21 miles and it was like an hour and some change, not much, but I did do the three miles in under one hour. And that's what I was hoping for while recording and all that. So things is moving along, progressing. That's what I like. So anyway, so last part I want to talk about is how do I feel uh, after this week? <clears throat> so 
the last two months, I probably two, two and a half months, I've been slacking. I've been working out still, but just getting by, you know what I'm saying? And in that time, I gained like nine pounds. So I'm trying to work that nine pounds off so I can get back on track to uh, to my 100 pounds, losing 100 pounds or whatever, or getting to that 100 pounds. So I've already lost uh, 69 pounds now, you know, but uh, or 70, 70 pounds. Yeah, I lost 70 pounds, and so I'm trying to get back on track so I can get that 30 pounds off. Anyway, um, how I feel. So after those two and a half months, getting back into it, the first day I thought it would be a lot harder than it was, but I believe because I uh, stayed somewhat active, it wasn't too hard. Um, but by Wednesday, we was back at it, you know, burning calories. Um, my eating got back to to where it was. My my, I felt good. I feel great. Like I feel great right now. And so um, I weighed in yesterday and I lost six pounds last week. My goal was to lose five. So an extra pound is love, you know what I'm saying? So I, uh, my goal for next week is to lose another five pounds. And once I lose that, then I'll be tracking back on track to, to where I was at. The goal is to lose 100 pounds by the end of the year. So I got 30 pounds to lose before December 31st. Today is September 17th. So I got a lot of time. Um, I'm gonna have to push hard. And then once I lose that 100 pounds, then I still have weight that I wanna lose. Um, but we'll make another series on that weight. But the 100 pounds is definitely, you know, what I'm focused on right now. Getting this 100 pounds off and um, getting healthy, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, hopefully you liked the video. I did a little 360 cam type work. I'm using my uh, DJI Action 3. I'm trying not to buy the Action 4. That's why I'm using this thing because I bought it and <laughs> don't use it or any of the other stuff I have. So you'll see me using different cameras. Let me know what looks good. Um, this is the Action 3. I also got the uh, Insta360 Insta X3. And so I use that for the 360 footage. So let me know how you like it. And um, if you're out there doing your thing, keep chasing your goals. And yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's get motivated. Let's get this weight off. All right.